What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits. Today I do something just a little different by overviewing some of the new updates from the Plex Media Server. I actually kind of like this idea, but if you think it's dumb, make sure to let me know in the comments. So on April 30th, Plex released a pretty good sized update. The new software version 0.9.12.0 focuses a lot on music features. Now it's not entirely music driven. The new update does include speed improvements for the HTTP server, along with continue watching hub for home videos, a new sorting method for TV shows by the number of unwatched episodes, and a few miscellaneous bug fixes. But the real story is the music. So let's go ahead and start with Plex Mix. The best way to think of Plex Mix is just as a quick, easy playlist generated from a song that you select. Plex automatically finds similar types of songs and then adds them to a temporary playlist. Then you can even add those songs to a permanent playlist if you want to. This is nice because it takes what you're listening to and then throws in some songs that you might have forgotten about. Let's check out how to do that. First, you launch Plex, then go into your music library. Find a song that you want to listen to. For this example, let's say I want to listen to Stan from Eminem. Instead of clicking on the song to play it, I'm going to go over to the right and I'm going to click on these three little dots that pop up after I hover over it. After that, simply select Play Plex Mix. Now you can see that it starts by playing the song I wanted to listen to, and I can even check the playlist it created by going over to the right and clicking the three lines. If I happen to love this list, I can go ahead and click the button at the top and add it to a new or existing playlist for future listening. Wait a minute, back the train up a bit. Did you see the other option that you had? Music videos? What? That's right, and now you can watch music videos for songs that you have right from Plex with the click of a button. It doesn't stop there though. If you head back to your music library, click on the artist and view all of their albums, under it you will see quick links to play music videos for songs that you don't even have. Thanks Vivo. So wow, Plex Music is really stepping up its game. But let's take a look at one more feature, mood filters. Now you have an option to filter music by whatever mood that you might be in at the moment. But wait, you can't find that option. What's going on? Well, to get this option, you have to view all of your music by tracks rather than by artist. Once you do that, you can go over, select the new filter, moods, and then for this example, attitude. Plex will use its database of awesomeness to show you every song that you have that fits the mood that you're in. This new update has brought other things too, like better music scanning and even showing upcoming concerts for artists. I recommend you check out the update notes from the description below for full details. So what features would you like to see added? Do you like the new ones from this update? Let me know in the comments or you could even tweet me at underscore bite my bits. While you're at it, tell me what you thought about this video. Do you like having a walkthrough and an overview of new features from Plex? Or is this all kind of a, a no brainer to you? Well, if you did like it, make sure to click the like button below. And if you want to hear more, don't forget to subscribe.